We are in the midst of high spring here in Canada, and with spring in Canada comes very, very up and down weather, and sometimes it can be very difficult to navigate when it comes to getting dressed in the morning and trying to plan your outfits for the week. You don't know if it's going to be like a hot and sweaty 22 or a very mild and rainy like 9 degrees. The weather is just all over the place, and I've been struggling to get dressed a little bit, and I have been looking to Instagram for some inspo, so I have saved a ton of photos in my little outfits folder on Instagram. Instagram taking a lot of inspo from all of the fabulous fashionable people on the IG and I wanted to try to recreate some of their outfits today I haven't done this in a hot minute. It's been maybe dare I say years since I've done a recreating Instagram outfits video But your girl needs some inspo and I thought we could do it together So this is kind of like planning my outfits for the week But also taking inspo and recreating some Instagram outfits and that is why I stand before you naked in my robe today friends So let us dive into the photos and the inspo and see what we come up with. Now in true fashion for my uh, style, it is going to be rather plain and casual, but I try to keep it chic at the same time. So if you like that vibe of everyday clothing, like it's gotta be comfy, you know, but I still wanna feel fabulous and put together and clean. So all of the outfits kind of resemble that very much. Jeans, button up shirt and a blazer scenario. So <laughs> take with that what you will and let us dive in. I'm gonna start first with this outfit from Ellen Klass Klassen. I'm not sure how to say her last name, but love this. This is very much an outfit that I would wear and I wanna take some inspo from this. Love the loose baggy jeans, love the black boots. It kind of looks like it could be heels actually, but I love how casual and comfortable this looks while still being a little bit elevated with that nice crop jacket and the fun little spice of fun in the heels. And I really wanted to create something like this. So let's see what we can put together. So these are a few of similar pieces that I pulled out in my closet. I've got my lovely big paper bag jeans from A Goldie that I love so much. I've got this lovely little textured tank from Zara. Her tank or bodysuit has a little logo on it. So I thought it would be fun to spice up the detail with this lovely little textured tank. I've got these great black sunglasses from Amazon. And then I have my cropped Anina Bang jacket, which I love so much and we'll take any excuse to throw this on, even though the jacket she's wearing, I think is very, very fabulous. And I love how clean the color looks. I think it's great, but I think we can achieve a similar look with this. So here's the outfit on. It's a little bit more textured with a little bit more interest versus hers by having the plaid detail in the jacket and also having the little colorful booty on these jeans, but I still think that the overall vibe is there. I'm gonna throw on my totem boots. They don't have the same like metal detail, obviously, and they're not as pointy as hers, but I do think that this extra linear toe gives a similar kind of feel. And then we have the black and the glasses with the black and the boots. So there's the boots on. Now she doesn't actually have a bag showing in the photo, but I would most likely be wearing this for a day downtown, out of the city, or having some meetings, so I would wanna have my nice big Celine tote bag with it. And this is the finished look. It's an excellent option for one of those chillier days, but if it just suddenly gets really hot, the rain stops and the sun comes out, we can remove the jacket and just live in the tank. So we've got great layers for spring here, and it's nice and versatile. I love it. Now I'm really excited about the next outfit because it looks super simple and casual, but it's kind of dressed up with the accessories and you can kind of have the option to wear some flats or some heels to dress it up accordingly. I absolutely love her, love her style, and I'm obsessed with her daily looks and she posts so many roundups and I get so much inspiration from her. I don't, is it a nook? I don't know, I'm not sure how to say her name, I'm so sorry. But I love her style and I think she's absolutely fabulous and I'm super excited to put this one together, super chic and simple, with lots of black and I love it. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here is my finished look. I have this t-shirt that I actually recently got that I'm obsessed with. It has this really fun little cutout detail, keeping with my same bag. And this is something that I don't normally do in my everyday dressing. I don't know why I never gravitate to belts, but I feel like it just adds such a fun little detail to any look. And I had recently got this lovely little thin strappy belt from Bottega and I love the gold detailing. It kind of brings in all the rest of my gold, which is very fun. And I also don't normally wear like straight leg jeans so exposed like this, but I'm kind of just trying to get over that. And I really love the idea of wearing this with just a simple t-shirt. It's a perfect go-to spring outfit. You can add a jacket if you need to, or if it's extra warm outside, you could also just swap this out for shorts and do the same look. It's a really versatile, like literally the simplest thing, but I don't 
don't know why I never think to dress up like this. And then having the matching pair of black heels to go with the black accessories and a black shirt. It's just like a very, very simple, very chic outfit. You could also wear this with black sandals in the summertime, but I think adding the fun little pair of heels just makes it so perfect for dressing up, going to a lunch meeting, wanting to feel a little bit extra spicy. I think it's great. And I also have not been wearing these lovely little Chanel pumps as much as I've wanted to. And I'm really excited to just use any excuse to put them on. So I love this. I think this is so perfect, easy, chic, and comfortable at the same time. Super versatile. You can just swap out any of the pieces. I love, love this. The next outfit is also inspo from my main leading lady, and I just love this. I feel like this is something that I would normally gravitate towards, but I don't often pair something like this with sneakers. This is usually something that I wear kind of in the fall or winter and wear it a lot with boots. This little combo of like a cropped jean with a blue shirt, black blazer, and sneakers is not a combo that I would automatically think to go for. And I just really wanna try it with the sneakers that I have and see how we can put it together and make it work. I absolutely love this and also her bag. <laughs> <laughs> she can do no wrong, truly. Let's try to see how this outfit looks. <laughs> okay, so we've got the outfit on and my initial reaction was that I thought my jeans weren't cropped enough and it just kind of felt weird with my sneakers. Like I think I just have, like maybe my legs aren't long enough or whatnot, but the more that I stared at, the more that this is actually growing on me and I really love this combo. It's not something that I would usually go for, but I feel really, really put together in this. And again, you have the option to remove a layer if it does get warm, but this is like a perfect go-to, true rainy spring day. And we're also in sneakers, so we can do a lot of activities in this. I decided to pair this with my little Louis Vuitton Empreinte Speedy. Sorry, I love to say it that way. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. It's a little bit of a smaller bag option, so it gives it a little bit more of a chic vibe. And I really love it. So this is my very old Acne Studios blazer. I have loved and had this thing for many a year now. This is my all-time favorite. Oh my God my H&M oversized blue shirt. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. If you guys watched that video, I did in fact buy two. This is the size small and I fully tucked it into the pants. So if I needed to remove the blazer, we could just live in that and be nice and light and fresh. These are a pair of A Goldie jeans that I have and I also paired it with my New Balance sneakers. These are the, I believe they're the 997H, but from what I gather, they are no longer available, but I can try and do a little peek and see what I can find. But this is the outfit I love. She's also paired this with a pair of black sunglasses. Let me just throw on my same lovely little pair from Amazon. And this is just, this is the perfect go-to outfit for me. This is chic, this is classy, it's comfortable. All of my favorite things combined in one and I am obsessed. I'm literally gonna like hang it. This is absolutely going in my weekly wardrobe lineup for outfits and yes, I'm obsessed. So the next outfit is from a gal named Alex and I like, I have very thoroughly and maybe creepily stalked this woman on another level. I am obsessed, I'm obsessed with her closet. Like her life, her style, it's just like the epitome of a classy woman. She is fabulous and her outfits are incredible and obsessed and this is actually very similar to the previous outfit where we wore the blue jeans with the black belt but I love how simple it is yet she just looks so fabulous and classy I can't get over it and I love that she paired the white heels and something with me like I'm not creative when it comes to my outfits hence why I need to rely on Instagram for inspiration but I would have never thought to pair like a black belt accessory with white heels. I'm always like trying to be very matchy matchy. So this one really inspired me to kind of like freshen up that idea and also putting the gold chain with it. Like I just love, I love you guys. Let's try and put this outfit together. <sighs> Woo wee. Okay, I really started to sweat trying to get this, trying to get this shirt tucked in. But here is my finished look. I think that this is gonna be a work in progress. She's also got very, very lovely slim legs for this to look very fabulous. I think that this very oversized blue shirt that I have, which is from H&M by the way, it is much older. I bought this one last year. It's a little bit darker blue than my other lovely little oversized shirts, but she seems to have like a very fitted shirt. And I think that for tight jeans and trying to tuck in this very, very oversized shirt, it doesn't accomplish the look as well as it could if I had a little bit of a smaller shirt, but I love the color blue. I might actually have to go back in stock and see if she linked where she got this blue shirt from because it looks perfect. But I also paired it with this little Jenny Bird chain, which I guess with the oversizedness is kind of just like getting lost in the sauce. Her chain is much longer and it like dangles right to the belt. So I couldn't like fully achieve that style, but I like the potential of this idea. It kind of makes me want to get one of those really fabulous long chains. But overall, I love the idea. 
I love the idea of pairing a lighter shoe with the black belt. I think that's really fun. Again, I think her particular shoes work really well for this. I don't actually have a pair that is similar to that style, but overall I really love the idea of this outfit. This one's gonna be a work in progress. Not so thrilled with how this one looks, but the idea is there and I'm excited to keep playing with that idea. You guys are probably gonna laugh when I do this next outfit, but I just, listen. <laughs> I love wearing sweatsuits and if there's any excuse to dress up a sweatsuit, I'm gonna take it And I'm also obsessed with Claire Rose. I first found her on TikTok and I couldn't believe I hadn't discovered her for my entire life prior to that She's fabulous. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with her Instagram. I'm obsessed with her TikTok. Her outfits are perfect She is so stunning. Her and her husband. I just like I love their life and I love following along and she is like my style to a T. She is the one who really kickstarted my new Converse obsession and she's just inspired me so much and I love her wardrobe and she's just, yeah, she's fabulous. And I also love that that fabulousness includes wearing a sweatsuit with a blazer. <laughs> and I just really wanna to try to put something similar together, especially on my errands days, on my Costco running days, heading out, doing whatever I need to do, being comfy yet looking fabulous in a sweatsuit. I am all about this. So let's try to uh, rock a similar fit. So here is my finished look. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like, first of all, my Acne Studios blazer is a little bit too dressed up for this. And it's also like quite, I know it's oversized, but it's very slim for me in the arms and trying to squeeze a big cozy knit sweater under it is a little bit tight. So I feel like I'd have to do this with like just a more casual feeling black blazer. So I, I don't know if this would work for me. I actually love the idea. I love the look, just don't really love the blazer option that I have for this. I feel like it's just, it's just like too nice to pair with my sweatsuit, you know? But either way, this is my rotate sweatsuit, which I have worn to death and I love so much. It's one of my favorite sweatsuits ever. I've paired it with my gray New Balance sneakers, my same Amazon Sunnies, and also my Louis Vuitton bag, because she has also that very, very fabulous, very chic black bag. And I like the look, I do. I don't know if I would rock the blazer, but I do like the overall effect and I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think about this look? So the final outfit that I wanna to recreate today is from Josephine HJ. I love that woman, love the collection she does with Naked Fashion as well, and her style is chef's kiss. And this photo in particular is actually a sponsored post with Anina Bang, and I was really excited because I have my new sandals that I received from Anina Bang, and I was like, yes, this is the perfect opportunity to try and style it. And it kind of looks like she's layered a tank top with a button-up white shirt, which I love, just a super nice layered look for spring. And again, it's one of those moments where I just would never think to have paired like all the light pieces on top with black sandals. A little mixing and matching there. I probably would have put that with my like lighter New Balance shoes or white shoes, or I would have worn that with my white sandals. So I just wanted to see how that looks and I love this idea. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so these glasses are just like really, really holding the team today. I love this. I love this and I would have never thought to put the black sandals with all of this lightness on the top. So I actually decided to go without the undershirt. I pulled out this uh, t-shirt shirt that I bought quite a long time ago now. Honestly, it's old from H&M. I featured it in one of my spring hauls at one point, but I decided to pair that because it actually has a really nice like finish on the bottom. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to wear my lovely little vintage Dior blazer, which is new in and I love how it looks. These are an old pair of frame jeans, which are really nice and cropped. And then I've got my Anina Bing sandals on the bottom and the black sunglasses and the black sandals just really kind of tie it together. And I love how this looks. Never would have thought to put this together. I think it's super nice and fresh and with the linen blazer and also the short shirt. Sorry, let me just show you guys this. It's a short shirt. It's not a long sleeve shirt. So that's actually really perfect for a spring layering. But I love this. I think it's super fresh and the skinny jean also just kind of helps to make everything look a little bit more streamlined if you will. But I would also wear this with like my loose baggy ripped jeans and I would totally be down with that. Love this look. Love the layering. I am obsessed. All right, my friends, and that is the final look that I wanted to recreate with you today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think of the looks that I have attempted to recreate here and the looks that we've put together. I would love to hear your thoughts. Any of the pieces that I've featured where I'm able, I will link them in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. And please do let me know as well what other clothing and styling videos that you would love to see from me. I hope that you love this video. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow for a new Everyday May video. Bye!